Hello everyone. I found this interview of the Chile president, Gabriel Boric, really, really refreshing. And for a leader to be talking about mental health so that he can destigmatize um, how we look at mental health in the world is uh, just amazing and inspiring. Also, once again, a disclaimer, I have no idea what his political leanings are and I actually don't think it is relevant in this um, video here because um, irrespective of what political leanings he has, um, he sounds, uh, at least in this video, like a person who really cares uh, about the people he is leading as well as he's just generally a nice human being. So that's the disclaimer. Um, here he is talking about his own OCD and his own struggles with mental health. He says mental health does not have to be a taboo. So I will play a couple of minutes of his interview. Um, it's just, uh, I believe, is very, very inspiring. About mental health. And you have spoken quite openly and freely about your own issues, OCD and the like. My question is, why have you decided to speak openly about it? What do you say to your people and people around the world? And how has it affected you? I mean... So usually if uh, you are the leader of a country, um, you, you know, e anybody in a leadership role know that they cannot be showing themselves as vulnerable enough to, you know, present their weak points um, to the world. But uh, I just find it amazing, uh, amazingly refreshing that this gentleman actually comes out and actually talks about his mental health issues so that um, he can help those who are looking up to him um, and, de and destigmatize the whole tab around mental health. Let let's listen to his answer. You're president of your nation. Yes. Uh, bueno, gracias por la pregunta. Well, thank you for the question. When you have a wound, when you have a, a broken bone, you can, it's noticeable, it bleeds and you can see it and you have to undergo a treatment to be able to heal it. But when you have... That is a classic statement because, you know, uh, the minute we have a physical injury, we just immediately rush to the emergency room or to the doctor. But because mental health, you can't see how your mind is doing, you just tend to assume that things will become okay if you just bear it or if you are, um, you know, you just not, you should not be thinking about too, it too. You should not think about it too much or something like that, right? But uh, yeah, this is amazing. An affectation regarding mental health, many a times you hide it. And there's a, dis a very large discrimination regarding on how you are treated regarding that. Uh, look at how people say, don't be crazy, don't act. Uh. And affectations are uh, extremely dangerous because you just try to act normal. You try to act uh, in a way that uh, everything is going to be okay. And that is the most dangerous thing. Even though you don't feel well inside, if you act like everything is going to be okay, things would not magically become okay. And uh, it is uh, important to know that and seek help um, if things feel like they're getting out of hand. Schizophrenic, don't be bipolar, as if it was an insult. And they are diseases. And more than anything, I think the first barrier we have to overcome to be able to confront seriously these issues of mental health is to be able to having them stop being a stigma. I have an obsessive compulsive disorder that's completely under control. Um, of, thank God I've been able to undergo uh, treatment and it doesn't make me unable to be able to carry out my uh, um, responsibilities as uh, as a representative, as the president of the republic. And So he is also confessing here that he has undergone treatment for his obsessive compulsive disorder. That's again commendable. I think this is something that's very difficult to accept for a lot of people, but we have to be able to speak about mental health because mental health is very important. In my country, only 2% of the budget regarding uh, public health is destined for mental health because we have not spoken enough about it. And if so 2% of the budget is allocated for mental health. That is... Yeah, and, and him speaking about it like this out in the open,
and him speaking about it publicly like this will give an incentive for his country to allocate more budget and actually do something more uh, in terms of uh, taking care of the mental health of the public. That's amazing. Thank you.